friends, good morning. I have two drinks with me. Finally was able to find a smoothie place, but Alicia and I woke up early this morning and went and had a boxing workout and woke up like literally just as we needed to leave per usual and we were running to the studio and one of my earrings fell out and I'm so sad because it was like a little diamond hoopy and we were already running late but we stopped to look for it we were looking for like a solid five minutes and then decided let's go to class we'll come back and look for it and then on the way back we found it <laughs> so it used to be a little hoop and i think it got run over or something so that's a little sad but we had a great little morning workout at rumble i thought it was a boxing class but it was the training version so it was kind of similar to barry's where it was like a treadmill workout and then some weights that we did so anyways it felt great to get a morning workout in glad i have my matcha and we're gonna shower get ready and head to brunch back on Soho. We hung out with Alyssa this morning and got a little brunchy situation and then did some walking around and explored Little Island which I've always wanted to go to and it was cute but since it is like an artificial island there wasn't much to do so we're gonna shoot some photos. We have sushi reservations later today which I'm really excited for. start by running. <laughs> Absolutely sprinting. Hello friends, we are headed out for the day. This is today's cute little outfit. We have my coat from Farfetch. It's a little trench I've been wearing. I have an Aritzia faux leather jacket on and then a white long sleeve because it is actually pretty cold today. And then I have thrifted pants and then my docks. We are actually going to meet one of my girlfriends, Glow with Ava at a cute little French restaurant. So we're really excited. It feels so good to get a little hot yoga session this morning, shower and get ready. And we're actually running like perfectly on time. So like for once this week, we're not <laughs> running and crazy rushing. So anyways, we're headed out. We're gonna spend the day in Brooklyn, do some thrifting, hopefully pick up some Coachella outfits for me because I need some help. Mm. 
clean house. Hello friends, we are back home. It has been such a long day. I feel like I've said that every single day, but truly today was such a long day. <laughs> We're like, today's Sunday's gonna be a work day. We're gonna like come home early and get so much done. And right now it's 8.30. And we left the house this morning at like 8.30 a.m. So anyways, today was a vintage shopping day. We actually went to the Brooklyn flea market too and kind of explored around the area a little bit. We wanted to do a lot more vintage shopping, but it was all the way in Williamsburg. And by the time we thought about going over there, it was already like 4 p.m. So we ended up not going all the way over there and we'll probably go there tomorrow. But today we got lunch with Glow with Ava and she was so cute. She's actually one of my like Instagram friends and we've been friends for so long like I want to say three or four years now and this is my second time hanging out with her in person loved her and she got to meet Alicia after that we did a little bit of shopping and we went to second to none which is actually a vintage shop that you first discovered in LA right second so, street oh second street yeah so I picked up a few things from there and today we mainly want to do shopping for Coachella outfits because we are going and I pulled a couple outfits from Evolve but I don't have like a ton of the looks fully planned out so I picked up this kind of like silk scarf super cute i envision it worn as a top with like some i feel like with some white denim shorts mm -hmm. would that be cute and like a gold chain belt and then i also picked up this shirt which i'm really excited about it's from issy miyaki this is actually a brand that i first heard about from brandon because he's obsessed with it um and we shopped their store in paris so we found like a vintage piece from there and it's just like a plain black button-up shirt that is useful great for layering i can wear it like open or as a top really like it i feel like this was a good buy and then this was a really good find some versace vintage pants these are really baggy and long and the color is really useful and oftentimes when i'm thrifting i look in the men's section because then you can find pants that are actually long and baggy enough and even if the waist is a little bit big you can always get it tailored or a belt or roll it and it makes a really cute look plus brennan will probably be able to wear it too and i love that it's vintage versace and it was $29 which is great and then after that we actually met up with Carmen and she is another like TikTok influencer that I've been friends with for a little bit now um this is my first time meeting her in real life she's a New York gal and it was super cute we shot some content together and um we hung out at the Brooklyn Flea at the Flea I also picked up another like Coachella piece. I don't know if this is something that I would ever like normally wear because I feel like it's such a festival piece but it's kind of like a sheer vest top and there's just like one clip that goes across like that and I feel like this would be really cute with like a little skirt and some boots or even a like bralette. yeah a bralette or even like mm. some denim shorts would look really cute with it oh yeah for sure but it's really like flowy and sheer so I feel like we'll make for good layering mm -hmm. things and then oh yeah Oh yeah, I also got this from the Brooklyn Flea, which I'm really excited about this. There are girls behind me that were like eyeing it. For yeah, like if I wasn't gonna, to yeah, if I put it down, they were gonna get it. So it's a leather blazer, really oversized, and the leather feels really nice and soft. I feel like usually for vintage leather, sometimes the leather can feel really thick and like rough, but this one is really soft and feels really, really nice. And I love how long and oversized it is. So very versatile, great for layering, and yeah. And then last piece I picked up is um, a store in Soho that we just walked by and just popped into. This is a very trendy piece. I would never normally wear something like this because it's pretty risque, but I think that's what makes it so fun. It's just like a little puff sleeve crop top and then the back is like just some ties. It's like a tie back detail. So you have like really nice open back. I feel like that would be really fun, especially for some photos to get like some back shots of it. Mm -hmm. really cute. But anyways, I'm excited to wash my makeup off. As soon as we got home, I literally like changed into my bathrobe and we got some work to do. We're probably gonna try to go to bed early. We'll see if that happens, but we'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. We had quite the morning. Left the house really late, but we just got to Subi.
Hello friends, good morning. I'm out early at breakfast, so if it's a little bit loud, it's because traffic is like literally around me, but it is rainy today. I'm glad I checked the weather before I left the house. But I feel like I really did not pack for this weather. I kind of thought it was gonna be like sunny and warm. I got shorts, skirts, tank tops, summer clothes, and I was not prepared. It's been pretty cold and rainy, but anyways, woke up pretty early this morning. I'm here at Sarah Best. I've never been before, and I'm meeting my girlfriend, Jen, so I'm really excited. Post dinner, how was it? Really good. I would say not as good as the other place that I went to. Oh, oh yeah. we'll have to try it next time. You have to try Shin that. One. East, Shin she East, she said, is the seventy dollar omakase. Yeah. This one was sixty-eight dollars for twelve courses, and we added a couple of like additional things, so it Toro, ended up being Kendall, and then uh, wagyu. Like uni, uni caviar, caviar gold flakes like situation and then we got drinks as well so it ended up being after tip about a hundred dollars a person which is not that bad so i really enjoyed it i think totally worth it. but we're going back to miss dues for boba we're considering getting three yeah because we want to try the <laughs> we have to try as much flavors before we leave i'm sweating i gave alicia my electric bike because uh, her outfit <laughs> Hello friends, so we just got back home and it is our last full day here. We had an omakase reservation at 6.15 and it was at this new place that we literally discovered and it was a place called Genki Sushi. It was in kind of near West Village area at $68 a person. It was really, really good except it wasn't like enough food so we weren't full so we had to order like additional things. If you just order like the omakase alone, I think it's really good and they're all like really good sushi rolls especially if you don't really care for appetizers and stuff like that. After that, we rode our bikes to Miss Dew's tea shop which is our fourth time going there this week alone and um, we wanted to end the trip with some of our favorite boba obviously and then after that we took a cab back home so it is currently 12 30 we have all of our stuff packed up it's pretty clean we're gonna wake up early make sure we're all prepped and then we are gonna hop on a train to Boston so I think I'm gonna pop that near the end of this vlog I don't really know if I'm gonna talk much throughout it because um, this week has just been really crazy and we're about to go into Coachella so I think we want to just enjoy the event I do have to shoot a TikTok for them so I think I'll be doing that I'm gonna see one of my girlfriends Hari that moved to Boston a couple years ago and I haven't seen her since so it'll be good to see her and catch up and after that we go back to LA. Alicia's cozy in bed. <laughs> so Alicia obviously is vlogging as well so she's gonna have her 
point of view on her channel. You guys love this while we were in Paris, how we had like all of our different point of views. So that would be oh, fun yeah. for you guys to see. And I feel like you talked more fashion. So it was a great trip, great yeah. time. <laughs> Good time. I know. It's felt like more than a week. I know. Because we did so much, but also like we started this trip like three days ago. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we'll end this vlog here. We'll throw on some like fun New Balance montage clips, but we'll see you guys at Coachella. Bye. Bye. Bye.